How's it going? This is going to be our first ink review of the channel. Um, ink reviews are going to be kind of sparing because I have to be down here at the uh, the writing desk more or less, and um, it's amidst all the chaos and toys and um, loudness that's associated with having children. So it's a rare moment of uh, clarity and silence when I can sit down here. But anyway, we're going to uh, give it a go. This is Emerald of Shivor, one of my top three favorite inks, and we're using the uh, Zizo Maestro that we talked about in our first review. Um, lately, actually, hold on a sec, I'll put that back there. Um, always gotta give it a good shake just in case you got some shimmer in there. Um, lately, I've been doing kind of, when I do have a pen inked up, what I started doing is, oh, this is, what do we got? Life uh, Paper A5 here. Um, I do like this brand paper. Um, Anyway, uh, so what I've started doing is I started um, doing kind of a, a page with the ink and just practicing my alphabet and then, you know, a swatch at the bottom there. So that's uh, Tokyo Bay Blue. This was uh, Noodler's 54th, um, which, oh man, this thing was so heavy. It bled through. This was on a, a using, um, actually I was using this one. It was using a Retro 51 Medium, of all things. Medium, and it was so juicy. I even put, like, juicy right there because... <laughs> Going to note that. But anyway, let's get going and let's make one for today. We've got our Emerald of Shavor, and here we go. Zoom in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to start up here with the name of our uh, pen, um, ink. I'm sorry. We've got Jacques. Urban, or urban. Um, my grandmother was French Canadian, so Jacques Urban sounds uh, more like how she'd say it. But I've been experimenting with a new H as opposed to the one I learned back in grade school, something like this. Uh, really relies upon the, the thicker downstrokes to kind of help define that H too. And then we've got that's one of the reasons I like stub or flex. I'm working on that R too, that lowercase r. Trying to get that kind of curly Q and the nice firm downstroke there. All right, we've got Jackie's Urban. We've got Emerald of Shavor. Emerald. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of space here. Curly Q and down. Boom. Sometimes I'll do a, just a little stroke there, might as well. Okay. Now, um, normally I do my swatch at the end, but just right now I'm thinking for uh, the video here, it might be better to start it drying now. So what I kind of do, and this one I'm running low, as you can see, I'm kind of using this up so I can refill it. Um, I'm gonna actually put our little drops down and then uh, let that start drying. Hold on for one second. All right, here we go. Just gonna kind of expel some ink there. And if you hear stuff in the background, my family's already moved in um, to the area, so that's why it's, like I said, very hard to get a quiet moment. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. Man, I'm like out. Man, I should have enough to finish this page, but. Oh yeah, that's out, out. Whew, that's like the last drop. All right, so we'll get that there. We'll let that dry. Hopefully we got enough to kind of finish up. Let's keep going. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start with my alphabet. Here we got A. Not going to say them all out loud. But... Oops. Oops, save that view, I guess. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our upper case. Here, we'll start right here. 
been working with like bees lately. I found if I don't touch it like that, it kind of looks actually really nice. So we got A, B. C, I'm kind of unhappy with. I've been doing different things, but I'm just going to go back and practice C's at some point and see what I can find. My D's fine. There's enough deers in all the letters I write. Dear you, dear him, dear her. So, okay, so we got D, E. F was always my favorite color. Here's the new H we got. And I also taught myself a new I from the one I learned in school, too. I like that better. Oh, you know what? I was practicing a new P I'll show you, too. So, there's a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so I like that. I've been doing this cue because it's easier for people who don't know cursive to kind of decipher as opposed to the one that's almost like a, a lowercase z, just giant. I want to practice my R's too and get a nicer R. S is always good. Let me go back down for T. Z have changed to an elongated L, like that, with a little crossbar there. Um, and I actually do Z's a lot because um, one of my family members has that in their name, so. Um, okay, cool, we got those there. Our swatch is still drying. Um, now I'll usually get our pen in here. I'm gonna try and do that newer, um, fancier P I've been trying to put together. Kinda with that loop, that was too big of a loop though. It's better when it's thinner, we got. And this is the the Zizo Maestro, and this is with the Nemesine One Point One stub. I like the stubs. I like the flexes. And yeah, I guess we can get a couple little samples there. We can get some the longer ones people like. Uh, this is a stock feed, even though I put the much bigger stub on there. Um, this the pen only comes in fine or medium, but um, even putting a big giant stub on here, the uh, the fleet the feed and the flow have kept up just fine. I've never had any issues with it, so that works really well there. And um, yeah, there we go. Now we've got a little Emerald of Shavor in the Zizo. And we'll see how our swatch is coming. Still really, really wet. Wow, that is really wet. I'm going to have to um, add that later on for you guys. Let's see here. It's actually kind of hard to see in this light. I actually uh, really do like this uh, this ink. It's it's a blue ink, but it almost comes off as green. Um, I don't know if it's really catching with the light here. Maybe if I go outside. All right, so I had to go outside and get some sunlight. The neighbors probably think I'm crazy. But um, there it is, it's better. It comes off as green, even though it's blue. Um, it's hard to see the shimmer here. This is, I think, better. You can see it a little bit in the Z there, and, and the E. But it does have beautiful shimmer when you can see it too. It's so really wet up there. The sheen is red, so it's really cool. Alright, there it is. Urban Emerald of Chivalry.